Okay, this video is a very topic specific video for people that are running the MPC software and trying to host the Rolling Cloud plugins. Um, here's in particular the issue that I'm having. So I'm playing the 128 voice piano and listen to how it sounds when hosted within the MPC software. Obviously, I mean, it's what you can't see on the keyboard, it's not only defaulted to an octave down, but the pitch shifting and the sample assignments are all buggy, okay? So I have to be using a program called Unify, and I'm going to go into uh, change the track one. And all what well, Unify is, uh, it's a it's a plugin that has its own sounds, but also has the capability of hosting not only internal plugins, but third-party plugins. Kind of reminds me of almost like the Kai Advanced. Um, and what I can do is host. So I can go into here, and that's the analogy, but I can go in here and pull in Omnisphere, um, my Korg Legacy stuff, all my third-party stuff for the most part. And one of the side benefits is I'll go into Rolling Cloud, I'll go into the 5080 here. Now, listen to the 5080 being hosted within the Unify plugin itself, which is in turn also being hosted within the MPC software, as you can see. And so that's That's how it should sound. Okay, so that's basically how it should sound. And that is sort of the solution. The only caveat that I've seen so far uh, with the Unify plugin specifically is if I have, uh, Let's, let me try to do this. If I have the NPC in full screen mode and I load it up, so it's okay when I'm not in full screen mode, but watch. If I'm in full screen mode and I try to launch the Uni Unify plugin, it's going to take me another screen. That's sort of the only minor negative. In other words, the, the actual GUI itself doesn't support full screen mode within the host that it's working in, at least within the NPC. But other than that, it it uh, solves a huge logistical issue because in the Roland Cloud, I mean, there's a ton of great plugins that you you would in theory be losing out on, um, and and so uh, you know the the Roland stuff is really just um, bread and butter for me. So and. And alternatively, if I weren't using that plugin, I'd revert back to all my hardware gear, like the 5080, the 990s, the actual real, the real stuff. But there is a convenience of using the plugins, and I'm leaning more in that direction of, of using plugins for the efficiency uh, and portability factor. So, um, okay, so anyway, thanks for tuning in, and until next time, peace out.